Welcome in, college hockey fans. It's another player profile, another from the goal out. Uh, forget the goaltenders. <laughs> they get their own love. We're talking about goal scorers. I got Willie Ryan with me from the Air Force Academy, as you can see. Um, what a beautiful facility, a beautiful new press box, beautiful new locker room facilities. But I want to talk about stuff on the ice, Willie. Gosh Absolutely. darn it. You got a big <laughs> overtime goal again. So let's start right there. Michigan State, it goes to overtime. I asked your teammates, I said, who, who do you look for? They told me who they look for. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's pretty exciting, especially since the Atlantic hockey switched to three-on-three. Three. Uh, there's, there's a lot of ice. There's a lot of room, so you just try to make something happen. And, there's, I mean, there's good players, like the one you just uh, previously interviewed, Luke Rowe, and he throws a little body around and then get the puck and then hopefully put it in the net. I asked him as a defenseman what's it like to have Alex Schilling back there, but as a forward, what's it like to have Alex Schilling back there to know that yeah. if you make a mistake or maybe when you make a mistake, mm-hmm. he's going to stand up for you? Yeah, I mean, I think that's the that's the biggest thing. I mean, knowing you got somebody because as as a forward, you got to take a few chances, and right. and so you're going to do that. And then if you know that you got good D and especially a good goalie that's going to bail you out if you if you do something uh, a little too risky, uh, and then he'll bail you out. So you can you can take a little bit more risk, and and you know there won't be the the pain on the other end. Okay, North Oaks, Minnesota is home. Um, right now, there's six NCAA schools in the state of Minnesota. The Air Force Academy got Willie Rhyme though. Why? Um, I mean, that's a great question. I mean, there's there's just something about uh, really going to a service academy. You get to play hockey at the Division One level. I mean, be, I mean, be be on a team that can compete, and then you also get to serve. I mean, those are really the two the two big things. And I I, I don't know, just from my perspective, it's, it's really is the best of both worlds. So I, I was pretty lucky to get the get the opportunity to play here, and and I think I, I'm excited to keep it going. Okay, I've talked to a lot of people that uh, have either played here or are playing here. Uh, they all tell me different stories about the hill mm-hmm. and what it's like and uh, what your schedule is like. Give us a little insight from, from Willie Ryan's perspective of what it's like uh, on the hill. Yeah, on the hill, uh, it's definitely a little bit different than at the rink. we wake, we got to wake up early. Uh, normally around 6.30 we have this thing called MAF, uh, morning accountability formation. And then uh, you start that, then you go to class, and you have class all morning. Um, and then essentially lunch, and then you have noon meal formation and uh, then you come down to the rink, then that's kind of the end of the military stuff, and then you can really focus on hockey and uh, kind of take that. Uh. I, I asked Coach Saratori, I said, uh, what's it like for you guys when they come out of class and, and the, the military stuff and come down to the rink? He goes, it's the easiest part of the day for them. I doubt it, right? <laughs> I mean, I, I would say, I would say absolutely. I mean, this is, I mean, this, we've done this our whole lives, right? We've played hockey since we've been two years old and uh i mean and it's and it's just really nice to be around the around the guys and just there, there really isn't any stress we're up on the hill you got you, you got your military stuff you got your uh grades and everything too so there's it's a little bit more stressful up there but you can really decompress and i mean just our locker room we have a great group of guys so we're able to uh just have some fun and lighten the mood a little bit everybody says and it's true you're uh, one of the youngest teams now in uh, ncaa hockey but because of the uh the hill the uh service academy part of it perhaps you guys are a little bit more mature i think that helps i mean yeah i'd say absolutely uh there's there's no doubt that up on the hill when you're doing military uh when you're doing military stuff and then you also have to focus on uh focus on grades you got to be able to decompress and really no, when, when you're focusing on hockey, that's what you're focusing on. When you're focusing on grades, that's what you're focusing on. And, we, I mean, that's kind of forced at you right away when they throw you into the fire in basic training. And so once you got that, there's, there's really no place to turn to, so you got to figure it out. And fortunately, I think everyone on the team did. I asked Luke about basic training because I've heard a lot of people, there's guys here that maybe were good hockey players that can't get through basic training. So uh, how difficult is basic training in, in your words, Willie? Um... I don't know if it's necessarily like difficult. It's just something you got to get through and it's something you got to do. Uh, I, I, I wish it was. I, I don't know. It's 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 not. It's, I mean, it's not fun. I wouldn't want to do it again by any stretch. <laughs> but it's it's just something you got to do. So when you're kind of in the moment and doing it, it sucks. But then afterwards, it's something we can all laugh about. Okay, tell me about growing up playing hockey in Minnesota, the state of hockey. Um, what was it like for you? What are some memories that you had from uh, from your time back there? 
Yeah, I mean, it was it was it was great. I mean, I know my my dad. Uh, he'd he'd build a rink outside, and then we'd we'd skate on the, on just the rink outside, have some buddies play boot hockey, just all all kind of that stuff. I think that's probably the the best memory, no doubt. Uh, but it's I think really an undercover really cool thing about minnesota is high school hockey yeah. and just having the ability to uh, i went to st thomas academy and having the ability our furthest road game was 30 minutes away yeah. and I, I think that's really undercover and it, it was just awesome you play with your buddies on the ice then you go to school with them and it's just all all of that's really fun think back to uh the 1970s uh, <laughs> that's when I grew up. 1980, when I graduated high school, I played on the last high school team that played outside uh, in Minnesota high school hockey. Uh, played for a team called Faustin Bagley outside of Bemidji. Mm-hmm. Uh, outdoor rink um, for all of our games. We had snow, we had a shovel, <laughs> all that good stuff. Uh, outdoor rink experiences for you? Uh, yeah, I was really fortunate. When we were at uh, St. Thomas, I got to play in Hockey Day, Minnesota. Oh, yeah. And uh, we were on the tarmac uh, MSP. So we, we played Hill Murray. And it was, I mean, it was it was surreal. Uh, I was a freshman at the time. So it was, uh, I, I was young. So I didn't really get to get to contribute and do everything as, as I did later on in my high school career. But it was just the fact that I was out there. And, and I mean, it's Hockey Day, Minnesota. If anyone doesn't know what that is, it's, 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 it's a surreal moment. And you're playing outside in front of the whole state. So, All right. Final ones for you is a two-parter. Number one, let's talk about your game. What do you like to do on the ice? I know besides put the puck in the net, but but you're a two-way forward as well. I've seen some clips of you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you this weekend. Um, so that's part one. Part two is tell everybody about Atlanta hockey because I think Atlanta hockey gets a bad rap sometimes. And you guys just went to, uh, as we're taping this anyway, you went up to the Big Ten and three of your schools won games. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's talk about you first. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to think of myself kind of, as you said, like a, a, a two-way forward, power forward, that when, when I get the chance, I, I'm going to take it to the net and try to try to score at essentially uh, at everything and then might as well play a little defense and get it out of the puck, get out of the zone. So so we'll do that. And then, as you kind of were saying, the Atlantic Hockey, I'd say, does kind of have a bad rap just solely because of it's not the it doesn't have the high names doesn't have the high draft picks but as as you said we went up to the big 10 and we got three wins as for the league so it, it shows that we can we can compete and, and almost more than compete we can win too so I, I think that's a really really positive aspect Willie, we appreciate your time always great to have a minnesotan on board with me uh, all my friends back in arizona are going to be <laughs> blasting me for that because i always got to get it in there but uh we appreciate time i'll see you this weekend yeah appreciate it thanks for having me on